Oh, well, it was a good way to start the season. Anytime you can get a win, it's, it's hard to win. And uh, certainly, we did uh, some good things. We did a lot of bad things uh, as well. Made too many mistakes as the competition ratchets up. A lot of the things we did will uh, deter us from getting to where we want to go. But uh, they say you make the most improvement from game one to game two, and I hope so. It's, uh, in, you know, we made uh, balls on the ground entirely too many times. Uh, we made a couple of the biggest bonehead plays in special teams I'm, uh, that I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, and uh, we weren't as good on third down defensively as we needed to be either. So there was uh, a lot of things to work on. So, but there were some positives. I thought that uh, especially Stephen Hill, uh, played like we thought he could. Uh, hopefully that will be a confidence booster for him. He certainly had a big game. And, uh, you know, it was just a crazy game. It was kind of crazy. I, the uh, field goal right before half was just, you know, I'll have to look at it on tape. I don't know if it was a low kick, if we I – th I think it was probably a combination. But that shouldn't be such a, a – a, Adventure. Every time you line up to kick it, it shouldn't be an adventure. So uh, we've got to do some things to shore a lot of that stuff up. Well, we had a lot of yardage after the catch. I mean, they were they were really committed to trying to stop the run inside, and uh, those guys out there were on the corners one on one, and they were a little bit overmatched with with a couple of our guys at receiver. So. Uh, but yet, you know, I thought we did okay. I don't know what Tevin's final stats were. Uh, I know we probably threw for a lot of yards because there was a lot of big plays. About the play of David Sims. Uh, I thought David did some some okay things. I, uh, you know, we'll watch the tape and see. We're having a hard time getting up on the linebacker on some of our inside run plays. Uh, I know Preston Lyons had a great run. He he broke about two or three tackles down by our bench on the one he scored, and. Uh, you know, Charles bounced back from fumbling the ball. He went in there and had a nice catch on third down and, and, and ran the ball. Richard had a nice run there at the end. So uh, it was a positive for, for those guys. Well, really, too, you watch the tape, it's a little hard to tell. I thought David played hard. I don't know what he ended up with rushing, but. You talked about Orwin a little bit. Really yeah, some Orwin had some big plays. Uh, you know, for the most part, he's been good when he's had the ball in his hands. Uh, had a couple of catches. He had the one drop, I remember. Uh, but uh, Orwin's got a lot of big play ability, you know, when he gets the ball out, out on the perimeter. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to throw the ball a little bit more because uh, it's just we're so young on the offensive line and and we're. Uh, you know, we've worked hard at it. The kids worked hard this summer, and we've gotten a little better at it. So the protection's a little better. We're, we're going to have to throw it a little more, probably. Freshman made some tackles on the special teams. They did, and we've got to evaluate that. I mean, we've got a we've got some that that did a really good job, and some that bowed up and threw their skirt up. So we'll have to adjust and get the guys that are going down making the tackles on. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Brandon did some things. I was a little disappointed, truthfully, in our pass rush. Uh, they were getting the ball out fairly quickly at times, but you know we've got to win some one-on-ones pass rush-wise with the line. You can't depend on blitzing all the time and and bringing linebackers. We need some of those guys to to win some of those battles. The linebackers did seem like though they were making plays at least in the first half when the game was not out of hand. Right. Well, Julian Burnett's a really good player, and again, I have to watch the tape and see. But uh, I know he made several plays. Uh, we had a hard time. I know at linebacker on the tight end seam route, he caught three or four balls. That's the linebacker's responsibility uh, in the coverages we were in most of the time. So, uh, and we had we had a bunch of dropped interceptions. We had, you know, just things you can't do as you ratchet up the competition. Uh, 
Well, I think any time you got a young team, they're going to make a lot of mistakes. And we made more than I thought we would. Uh, you know, like I said, some of the stuff, just bonehead stuff, some of the stuff is a little out there. I mean, you get an unsportsmanlike penalty. I guess he high-fived one of the guys in the front row or something. Uh, yeah, so good at happening in this game, you learn. But, uh, you know, we might be carrying that a little too far. I thought the celebration penalty was for guys who were trying to show somebody up and taunt them or those kind of things. But, uh, you know, we blocked behind the ball, got a block in the back on the punt return after Zach Lasky made a great run. And, uh, you know, just things you can, you can learn from. I did okay. Dropped dropped some snaps, and uh, you know I have to watch the tape. I think he probably could have pitched the ball a few times. He's a good runner. There's no question. There's no doubt about his running ability, and uh, he made some plays. Was Ted McCall out on the field in the huddle? Because he seemed like he was very accurate in his passes. He wasn't rushing or throwing. Well, I think we did a little better job protecting, and and uh, yeah, I mean he. Uh, other than one screen pass where maybe he short-armed a little bit, I thought he threw the ball pretty good. And those kids made some nice catches for him. You know, the very first one that Steven had was a little bit low, and he went down and got it. And uh, then the, the last long one that he caught was a nice catch. And those guys made some nice catches for him. But he was pretty accurate with it. Again, I don't have my glasses. I don't know what he was passing. Uh, can you see this, Dean, what his stats were, Tevin? Tevin had uh, 271 passes. Yeah, what was his stats? Like how many eight attempts? Of 13, eight of 13. Three TDs. Okay. How did you think the oh, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to watch the tape. It's hard to evaluate those guys inside until you watch the tape. Well, they had their moments. Uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to get better, but uh, they, they hit some licks. They come up and. Uh, and, and hit some shots, that's for sure. So uh, that's a positive. They're going to get better, too. The more they play, the more comfortable they'll get. With the special teams, how much do you think it's, it's the first game in Jitters and how much do you just something? I mean, I know you spent a lot of time working. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, that, I'm probably as disappointed with that area as I am with anything because we have spent a lot of time on it. And just bonehead. I mean, we've got to do a better job coaching the special team. We just got to because we do some dumb stuff out there at times on that. Do what? I don't know. I mean, I, there we hit. There were some pretty good hits out there at times tonight. I mean, uh, some Rod Sweeting had a couple pretty good shots. Uh, uh, you know. Jamia Thomas had a hard shot. You just got to learn not to leave with your head. Uh, there were some different guys, you know, that, that made some hits. Uh, I don't doubt our guys' courage. I mean, hitting's not going to be – I don't think that's an issue. Uh, I think we got guys that will hit. Two, two more questions. Was that something that you emphasized? Because you're staying there and all these younger, that, you know, that's something they can do to make hits? No, I think that they were just – yeah, you know, in this game, they were a little bigger and a little faster and a little stronger than the guys they were playing against. Logan seemed like he was pretty active in that. Yeah, I think Logan had some tackles on the run game. He did a nice job probably anchoring. Again, you got to, you know, you watch the tape and see, but I think he was pretty solid in there. What are some things in the already you want to get back to this week? Fundamentals, getting a snap, getting the ball off the ground. Uh, you know, penalties. Uh, there's going to be a ton of missed assignments. And I can I know five or six plays, we turned guys loose. The last play of the game on fourth down, we turned the guy loose. And and we knew, told the guy where he was going and who to block and which foot to step with, and still turned him loose. Just things like that.